Hi there and welcome to my first lecture here on YouTube. Today I will talk about Sweden during the Stone Age and the Bronze Age. My name is Marcus Henriksson and I'm a teacher here in Sweden. Let's start with the question, when did the first people come to Sweden? Well, nobody knows for sure. The only thing we do know is that people periodically have lived in Sweden for a very long time, mainly in the southern part, as you can see in the picture here. When did people start settling in Sweden? Well, around 12 to 13,000 years ago, when the ice cap started to melt. What did people live on? Mostly and mainly hunting. But yeah, they were gatherers and hunters, so they collected stuff like fruits, berries, roots, fish, etc. What tracks are left from their time? Well, in Sweden you can find a lot of different so-called rock carvings. They depict stuff like animals, people dancing, etc. You can also find some stone graves. And various and different tools. Mostly in a material called flint. Flint is easy to change and form. So therefore a lot of people during this time used this material to make stuff like knives, arrowheads, etc. When did people become farmers in Sweden? Well, most people became farmers around 6000 years ago. That is 4000 BC. Where did people settle in Sweden? Well, mainly in the southern part. Why? Warmer climate, better arable land, and better trading opportunities. But it is important to mention that not all people in Sweden were farmers at this time. Many people still lived by hunting, fishing, gathering different fruits and berries, and so on. So when can you talk about Sweden as a country? Some historians would say that Sweden as a land started to form around 3000 to 2000 BC. It was some kind of defense alliance. So therefore some historians would say that Sweden as a country is now beginning to emerge. People joined in different types of attacks against other kings, countries, etc. And they also collaborated when it came to the defense of the country. But yeah, they had no rules. And they have different kings or chieftains in different parts of the country. So some historians would say that Sweden as a country now existed. But most historians would say that Sweden as a country wouldn't exist for another two to three thousand years. What did these kingdoms look like, you might ask? Well, nobody knows for sure. There are too few remains and remnants from that time. So historians and archaeologists have a hard time making some kind of puzzle to figure out how things actually looked and worked during this period. The Bronze Age came to Sweden around 2000 to 1000 BC. What is bronze you might ask? Well, a mixture of the metals copper and thin. In Sweden, as in many other countries and places during this time, copper were very important because from copper you could create bronze. 
And to create stuff like jewelry and weapons in bronze, that meant that you had a lot of power. So it was usually a status symbol for chiefs and warriors. Here are some bronze weapons, tools, etc. from this period. Here is one of my personal favorite theories. It's my own. In this time here in Sweden, we also can see some kind of warriors in the Mediterranean called the Sea Peoples. They were supposed to be some kind of raiders who destroyed ancient civilizations such as Egypt, a civilization called the Mekinese, the Phoenicians, etc. But people don't know where these people came from. So one theory is that they came from some Greek islands or Corsica or Sicily, but nobody knows for sure. But here in Sweden we can see a lot of rock carvings that depicts boats, such as this one. According to Sweden historians, people didn't have boats during this time here in Sweden. But yet again, here are the carvings. And to me it looks like boats. And to me it looks like warriors. Here are some more. And remember that these carvings are several thousand years old. Some of them are three, four thousand years old, some are five thousand years old. And yeah, there could be people arriving to Sweden during this time. But to me, it is a lot more logical that these people were leaving on different types of raids. Early Vikings, if you prefer. And here we can see them again. And again. Is there anything else that can support this theory of mine? Well, you have found a lot of amber in, for example, Tutankhamun's grave in Egypt. And we know that they came from the Baltic Sea area. And you have also found a large part of bronze objects in the north, especially here in Sweden, that we know came from the Mediterranean. So either people from these areas have been traded with Sweden, or they have been taken by the Swedes by force. We don't know for sure. But we know that they have somehow traveled from the Mediterranean to Sweden either by trade or conquest. In Sweden during this time, the Bronze Age, we have found a grave that has been called the King's Tomb in Kivik. But today historians know for sure that there were no king buried at this place, because instead they found four different people in their teens. We don't know if they were sacrificed during some kind of religious ceremony or if it was some kind of cultural palace. There are only theories. So when did the Bronze Age end here in Sweden? Well, around the year 500 BC. The Sweden or Swedes then entered the so-called Iron Age. But that's more for another lecture. So if you like to discuss further the things I have been mentioned here in this lecture, you can talk about, for example, what did you think about the royal tomb in Kivik? What did you think about my theory about the rock carvings? And what would you think it would be like to live in Sweden during the Stone and Bronze Age? 
The sources I have used for this lecture are Wikipedia, Sweden History, Wikipedia Goths, Sweden's History Documentary Series of Martin Temel and Dick Harrison, The Nordic Bronze Age, Ancient History Documentary, a book uh, called History of Elisabeth Imanson, Robert Sandberg and Matthias Tudai, Perspective on History of Lars Hans and Jörgen Nyström, The Animated History of Germany, Part 2, The Sea People and the Late Bronze Age Collapse, uh, Sweden's uh, Cradle, A Different Theory on YouTube, uh, svt.se, How Did the Bronze Age End Here in Sweden, etc. But if you like to like this video, I would very much appreciate that. And feel free to leave a comment if you like. Have a great day. Bye.